investigation of epidemics epidemics is uh, the unusual occurrence in a community or region of disease specific health related behavior or other health related events clearly in excess of expected occurrence outbreak is defined as an increase in the incidence of a disease above what is normally expected in horizontal area cover a specific period of time objectives of investigation of an epidemics are to assess the magnitude of epidemic outbreak to assess the condition and factors responsible to identify cause source and modes of transmission of a disease to apply control and prevention of disease to eliminate the resources or reservoir and transmission to prevent future outbreaks reasons uh, to investigate are may represent breakdown in public health measures evaluate existing prevention strategies example vaccinations or personal hygiene then describe new diseases teach or learn epidemic logic of infectious disease address public health concern about the outbreaks now who recommendations for the epidemics recently who recommends global alert and response system known as gar early warning which is timely surveillance system that collects information on epidemic prone diseases in order to trigger prompt public health interventions reliance is on deep in depth review done by the epidemiologist on the data coming in so whatever the data is coming they are just giving the warning for the and timely surveillance and timely the management of the epidemics now what is surveillance surveillance is the collection analysis interpretation and dissemination of information about the selected health event this information is important to plan implement and evaluate a health program uses of surveillance it is to identify the disease trends so that planning of preventive and control programs can be adjusted to the meet the new situation it is to identify investigate and help the control the outbreak or epidemics identify the population at risk for certain diseases or death then it is to identify new uh, emerging diseases and evaluation of preventive and control measures of the disease under the study steps of investigations totally it has 10 steps like verification of disease second confirmation of existence of epidemics three defining the populational risk fourth rapid search for all cases and their characteristics fifth data analysis sixth formula formulation of hypothesis seventh testing of hypothesis eighth evaluation of ecological factors ninth further investigation of popular at risk population at risk and writing the report now we we'll do one by one verification of epidemics how it is to be done develop an outbreak team determine the role of each member in the investigation research the diseases and gather the supplies and equipments you will need make necessary administrative and personal arrangement for such things now outbreak team it consists of epidemiologist clinicians pathologist entomologist environmental specialist local authorities people for digging etc and they all co- uh, coordinate each uh, with each other the review the existing information so we have to go through and review the information which is uh, present determine the number of potential cases the locations and severity of the problem reviewed surveillance records laboratory records 
पेशेंट मेडिकल रिकॉर्ड्स रेडियोलॉजी एंड फार्मोलॉजी फार्मेसी रिकॉर्ड्स द कंपेयर रेट्स ऑफ इन्फेक्शन फॉर बोथ द बैकग्राउंड पीरियड एंड द आउटब्रेक पीरियड now equipments which are required for this uh, for the verification that is sample collection uh, equipments like bottles cameras then personal protective measures and they, the liaison with the local authorities is also very very important define the cases case definition should include most of the areas where the actual cases is there so usually it includes four components clinical information about the disease its characters about the people who are affected information about the location or the place where it is then specification of time during which the outbreak occurs so about the calendar time now for the verification what all things should be done that is clinical examination of the cases the see the sign and symptoms and confirm the cases and laboratory investigations pertaining to that particular disease identify the cases identifying information like the hospital uh, the information you will collect from the hospital admission number the unit the name address and phone number demographic information are like age sex date of admission date of surgery etc the risk factors information are type of surgery comorbidity catheters implants etc if the patient had the clinical data uh, information like the onset of the symptoms and signs frequency and duration of clinical features treatment devices etc these are the following information this is chart like the clinical information uh, you will collect risk factors uh, are to be collected demographic information and identify the information identity information confirmation of existence of epidemics it can be done by the compare comparing the disease frequency during the same period of same period of previous years so it can be com compare the content the current number of cases with the number from the previous weeks or months check with department records or consult the local data resources define the population at risk person determine what population at risk define population by host characters or the exposure use attack rate to identify high risk groups the attack rate can be in the numerator you can keep the number of cases and denominator as a number of people at the risk it may be also uh, like the number of patient affected divided by the total number of population at risk number of infectious divided by the total number of population at risk the number of adverse outcomes divided by the total number of population at risk so these are the methods you can calculate the population at risk place it shows the geographical extent of the problem so clusters or the patterns providing the important etiological clues there may be the maps and the where you can see the clusters or patterns spots etc it can be there and in area cases may be live or the work or may have been exposed time the number of cases by their date of onset the magnitude of the outbreak and time uh, trend where are we in the time course of the outbreak and future course and probably time period of the exposure the the next step is the rapid search for all cases and their characters it can be done by the rapid search can be done by the medical surveys to identify all the cases and those who have not sought medical care and those possibly exposed to the risk the searching for more cases and may reveal the person to person Right. These are the cases that data analysis is to be done by the time, place, and person, and it is uh, then it the evaluate the information for the pathogenicity of sorts and the transmission. Formulate the hypothesis. 
and uh, to explain the epidemic in terms of possible source causative organisms mode of spread and environmental factors after the formulation test the hypothesis compare the attack rate in exposed versus attack rate in the non exposed so it will give you the the source of the uh, info uh, source of the disease or the infection evaluation of uh, eight point is evaluation of ecological factors ecological factors have been made the epidemic possible should be investigated like water and milk supply a breakdown in water supply system or any any atmospheric changes so it will give you the rise any change will give you rise the ecological factor if it is been involved then further investigation of population at this it may be by the medical examination screening test examination of suspected food feces or the blood samples the biochemical studies assessment of immunity status writing of the report it may when you are writing a report it should have a uh, all this content that is background of the studies historical data of that disease the methodology of the investigation what type of method is been uh, applied analysis of data and control measures if it is applied and what is the effect the management of communicable disease to outbreak by the who how it is been done number one is the preparation phase how it is been done the preparation is health coordination meeting has to be done and surveillance system is to be activated the outbreak response plan for each disease resources skills and activities required stock and supplies sampling kits appropriate antimicrobial agents or the medicines intravenous fluids vaccines etc plan for the isolation wards in the hospital and laboratory support means the laboratory investigation should be done the second uh, is detection by surveillance so we can detect the disease outbreak responses by the confirmation investigation and control and fourth point is the evaluation to see the effectiveness of containment measures whatever the measures you have taken for control measures that we have to see whether it is effective or not timeliness of outbreak detection and response change public health policy if indicated and write and disseminate the outbreak report Uh, at last it is at the commencement of epidemic on basis of known fact of the disease temporary control measures should be implemented which may be modified or replaced in light of new knowledge acquired by the epidemic investigation now whatever the epidemics are there we have to see that the if it is because of changes of of the agent new agent or the mutation of the agent or the susceptibility of the uh, population at that time it should be new, uh, temporary control measures can be applied and reevaluated thank you